Good afternoon friends. It's Teresa again at Star Stylist Homestead. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome. It's good to have you. Today I'm actually making homemade tortilla and for my steak burritos tonight. So I'm getting this ready and I'm going to let them sit out so that when I go to cook dinner tonight, they'll be ready. So this is a really quickie recipe. I am going to use three cups of flour for this. I'm going to get right into it so we don't have this crazy long video. After that bread video yesterday, <laughs> that was quite long. Um, I still haven't got my my new setup set up yet um, for my camera. So I just brought this one up a little bit, hoping to See, hoping to get both me and the recipe, but that ain't working out so well. I didn't think it would. Guess I gotta fill my flour again. Oh, but guess what I did get done? Yep, my laundry room. I took the time today and said, I am doing that. I was sick of looking at it. I told you that was my catch all over there. And again, I just threw something over there. Um, well, my washer and dryer were catch-all, too. And then I put baskets up there. And that was catching everything. Now I've got everything labeled. Maybe I'll show it to you. I mean, it's a small room, so there's lots of containers. But that's okay. Everything's got its place now. Okay, then we're going to use... Oh, how about we go to the salt? Well, I guess it don't matter. Let's do baking powder. We're going to do... One teaspoon of baking powder, right in with that, wipe that off, and then we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of salt. There's one and a half, and of course I got everything ready except for my whisk. Give me one second. You know me. Okay. We're going to whisk this up. Here, if I stand over this side and whisk, you can get both of us. Okay, we're going to whisk this up. I have a cup of hot water right there. And I guess you're supposed to do this with your hands, but I don't want to knead for five minutes. So I'm going to slowly... Oh, you know what? I have my butter. Got to have my butter. And I do have it ready. Just not cut. So... We need five tablespoons of softened butter. Yeah, let's use a clean knife. Yeah, see, this is why I don't want to use my hands. I really should. Again, this. We've had them before, but I've never made them homemade. I'm, I'm into this uh, homemade stuff these days. So I'm going to put this in my mixer. I'm going to bring you up here. Let's see how the dough look does on this. I'm not sure if it'll be good. Let's see how the dough hook does on that. Mixing that butter. Yeah. No, we'll have to wait on the dough hook. You know you guys have all tried this, right? Let's put this one on. That's better already. So I'm gonna let that mix for a minute. Um, and then we're gonna gradually add in the hot water. So have you guys ever made these before? I don't eat a lot of them. I usually buy those small ones. Um, but I've seen a steak recipe this week with uh, Chef Pierre. I love Chef Pierre. And uh, it was a burrito with the cheese. He used, um, I don't remember what the cheese was. I don't buy it. Um, I, I don't even think I've ever had it. But I'm going to use my 
fresh grated mozzarella in it. But I said, oh, I want to try that. So that's what, and I figured, well, I don't have the big burrito shell, so why not make them, right? Hey, that's all mixed in. Now we'll go back to the fuck and start adding our water. And if it doesn't come together, I'll take it out and use my hands. Either way, I'm gonna have to use my hands to um, knead it. Add some more. I get my spatula. cleaned out my drawers today also. You'd think I wouldn't need to with a new kitchen. Don't it? My shorts keep getting caught on that. Um, but because it's new and I have so many more drawers, I'm changing things around all the time. And then I have to learn where I put them again. I guess I should finish what I was saying, right? I get distracted. Oh yeah, see that's coming together good. And I don't have to need it. It's doing it for me. Just a little bit more hot water. I guess these are supposed to be some of the best, so we'll find out tonight. And what I liked about this recipe is when we go to fry them, it's in a dry pan. You don't have to put anything in it because that five, five, six, uh, five tablespoons of butter wasn't enough. Hey, last of the water. I love these measuring. Cups. You can do anything with them. I'm just making sure all the flour and everything's off the side of this pan. Yep. Lock that baby up. Alright, and it's going. You hear that? Sounds like it's struggling. Sounds like me in the morning. <laughs> or, uh, yesterday morning. Oh, that, uh, Wednesday took it out of me. Oh. All right, get in there. There we go. And this is supposed to make uh, eight to ten of them, I believe. I did that one time and it sucked my spoon in. So I was saying something. Now I don't... Oh, I was exhausted the next day. I came home uh, yesterday from my doctor's appointment. And um, I had such a headache because I didn't sleep good the night before. Sorry, I'm washing my microwave down. I did not sleep good because I went to bed almost 11 o'clock after I... I didn't go lay down. When I finished my bread, I waited until it was cool enough, and then I wrapped it all, and um, I left them wrapped on the counter, so the next morning I put them in the freezer. Uh, but they came out amazing. Oh, I had a piece the next morning with some butter on it. So that little mess up with my extra one cup of milk, it worked for me, but now I know. And what I'm going to try to do... Um, and I might, I'm going to do for a one bread recipe, I'm going to knock it down because a lot of people don't want to make three breads, you know, so I'm going to break it down, but instead of making the bread, I'm going to make some sweet.
sweet bread buns like I had for dinner because those were amazing. This should be done. Let me check it. Yeah, that looks good. A little tacky. Yeah. Look at that dough. Nice, huh? Yeah. Oh, and I forgot my my uh, pan. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't think I need to... Uh, I'm just checking. Yeah. But I think this one should be enough. Let me grab my spray. Because now we're going to place the balls. About golf size balls? That's a big golf ball. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to roll them down. Use the counter. Whatever you do. Let me show you down here. To make your ball and place it on the tray. Pinch it off. Oh, I think that's a little much. And once we get these made, we're going to let these sit for 25 minutes. I believe it's 25. Yep. 20 to 30 minutes. Wow, this is perfect dough. I'm getting smaller in size here. Let's go back up a little bit because we want them big enough for our steak. Because that's a that's a pretty hefty <laughs> steak that I have going tonight. I think I'm I have to make an aioli unless I have if I have the aioli sauce, I might just use that and skip on the sauce. We'll see. I talked to my sister, Jen, today, and uh, I said, Jen, because she's not a baker. She, she's barely a cooker. I think her daughter does most of her meals, right? <laughs> um, I, and so I told her about the um, kavakish, the ones we made the other day. I said, Jen, even you could make these. <laughs> so before I hung up, I said, Tell Sienna to go in the kitchen, grab those four ingredients, and make them. She won't be sorry. <laughs> now, whether they do or not, I don't know. She's ready to come here, though. Right, Sienna? And does it, Auntie? They live up north with the rest of my family. So I used to, I think I said the other day, I used to... Um, I took baking classes, cake baking, and desserts and stuff. So I got all the stuff for uh, baking cakes and whatnot. And um, I made her daughter, Sienna, was into, uh, I'm going to forget the name of it. Yep. I forgot the name of it. it was the little block people. Anyway, about four or five years ago, I don't even know how long ago it was, I made her the cake. And I, I did fondant. I made my own fondant. That's where I was going with that. Let's see, I'll probably do two of these. Yeah, let's do three of them. Um, and that reminds me of this. 
because I made it out of the marshmallow one. Of course, it got harder than this. It was fun. I, I enjoy doing cakes. I do a little bit of everything. Um, I fix things in the house. I cook. I bake. I sew. <laughs> um, I made my covers for my KitchenAid and my um, Ninja over there. And my placeholder, my, um, I make a lot of stuff. I have to be in the mood for it, though. Um, when COVID started, I started making, yeah, I'm going to just make one more here. Um, I started making masks and I did them for the hospital in, in, um, Massachusetts for my sister, one of my other sisters. I'm one of eight, <laughs> there's six girls and two boys. She used to work up at that hospital and I, I think I made 200 of them for her. That was fun. Um. It gets old because it's repetitive, but it was nice that I could do something for them, you know, because I was home. So, yeah, this video is going. <laughs> uh, talking about everything today. All right. All right, my friends. Let's spread these out just a little. Just in case. So we got 10 of them. Those look nice, don't they? Um, now I'm going to wrap them. Let them rise for 25 minutes. I'll come back and show you when I put them together. And then I'm going to set them off aside. Covered in a towel just to keep them a little warm. But they're supposed to stay nice and soft for me if they're all covered up and taste really good. And then we'll go on to our dinner video. So, I'll be back. Okay, friends, I'm back. Now I'm going to put you down here and roll this out. Give me one second. This is going to be kind of a small one. I floured my surface. I'll have this one for me. You want to get them nice and thin. almost see-through. Flip them over. My pan should be right about 500. I think that one's good. I can see through that. So let me flip you up here. I'm going to put you over to my pan real quick. This is literally 20 seconds, or 20 to 30 seconds. Let's see how correct we are. Okay, let me pull you down here. Nothing is in the pan. Let me grab my tongs here. There are you. See, that's what I get for as soon as it starts bubbling, I guess I'm gonna use a spatula. You want to flip it over. There's some brown spots. I'm gonna be rolling out my next one. While that one's going. I think I could have made less with this. because some of these are kind of small, so they're going to be eating like four or six of these, <laughs> as small as they are. But you know what? I've never made them before, so. And that's done. Let me put it on a plate. there you have it. Wow, they smell amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll all these out and cook them. Okay, let me throw my other one in there. There's nothing in that pan either, other than the flour that's on there. Um, so I'm going to roll all these out and cook these. And then I'm going to come back and do the steak. I have it all cut up. Shut that. And the onions. I have it all cut up and ready to go. And then we'll put two together. I'll be back. Hi, hey, friends. Listen, they were, they were coming out really small. So I took two of those balls, put them together, started weaving it, flattened it out. And this is what I'm getting now. A nice big one. Because steak is going in that. <laughs> So, I'll eat the small one and I'll let the guys have the big one. But look at that. That's so much better. As soon as the bubbles start coming up. I love these. These are so fast. Anyway, I'm almost done. I'll be back. Okay, friends. We are back. I have all of these cooked up. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four. I got six of them, so that worked out. That is hot, hot, hot. But you wanna keep them under a towel, keep them warm. Now I'm gonna use that same pan and I'm gonna throw my steak in. This, I bought already marinated. This is a steakhouse tri-tip. I cut it in really, I cut it angled. And finer pieces, some are really small pieces, and I actually cut it in half. Hmm. Uh, this way, because it was pretty thick, it was like this thick. Let me turn it on. I want to get a nice sear on this, so I'm not throwing it all in at once. I'm going to stir these pieces and then stir the next ones and then throw my onions in. Let's see if that makes a difference. And then again. They're going to cook really fast because they're really skinny. Like this piece. Um, yeah, so this was marinated already. I don't know if it says on the Peach Steakhouse. It doesn't say what it's mar excuse me, marinated in, so I'm not really using John Pierre's recipe. Um, and on his recipe, and I'll, I'll link it below, um, what I did. But I did make his aioli stuff um and it's not bad but it's got um uh, what's that called i'm gonna have to look at it in the fridge because it's in a little bottle red hot sauce really hot sauce it's hot sauce <laughs> um but i also have an aioli that i bought <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Tabasco sauce is what I was thinking. Or trying to think of. Okay. okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook all these up. I just about them. I know these small ones are. Look at this. Because think about it. And I might even cut some of these bigger ones up more. Think about taking a bite of a grinder or a submarine sandwich and the whole thing coming out in your mouth. That's never a good thing. <laughs> you want to be able to take a bite and enjoy it. Each bite. So, that's what we have here. And it, it smells delicious. You can use any steak you want, any seasoning you want. I'm just doing what I have. So, now I got that out, I'll be back. I'm going to fry these up and then throw the onions in. I'll be back. Okay, friends, here we go. 
I'm going to put you down so that you can watch what I'm doing. And I'll probably just do a couple of them. Um, because I'm heating my... I'm actually heating my um, heat in my pan right now. So I'm going to do a, wrap up a couple real fast. They're not very round, but they're going to do the trick. And they came out nice, and they're still warm. So, this one, I left a little long. It's a little brown, but that's okay. It's not burnt, right? Okay, we're going to put the aioli on first. Leave it out from the edges. I'll have the recipe below for this. Um, because I mixed it off camera, but it's a little, it's not hard. <laughs> Smells really good too. Okay, we're going to add some, I'm using mozzarella and sharp cheddar. So I'm going to just put a little cheddar cheese here. And I'm going to Stick some onions on there. Probably should have did a few more onions, but and we're gonna lay this steak. Like so. Oh my goodness. Pop it with mozzarella, and then we're going to fold the sides in. Okay, keep it nice and straight. Fold this top and keep it nice and tight. And roll. Keep that top, 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 and voila. Now, I'm going to come over here and just throw this in this pan to heat it up a little bit. Let me bring you over for a sec. I just have ghee in there. And they're homemade, so these were already cooked, but I just want to brown it a little bit with uh, that cheese. And I'm cooking the rest of that steak like this. So then the guys can have that later. So I'm going to finish cooking these and I'll show you when they're done. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. These are the guys. Don't those look delicious? Here, let me put this down. Look at those. They're clunky. I'm not going to cut theirs. I'm going to let them cut it. Uh, but I will show you mine. I made a mess tonight. This is a messy meal. Let me grab my knife. So I can show you. Cheese is melted in there. I don't have as much stuff in mine as they do. Um, but I prefer not to. I did put a little bit of the homemade cerisa in here. So let's see. Ooh, that's really good, guys. Mmm. I have, uh, one more shell left. I might have to make it because that's real. Oh, no, that's way more than enough. That's really good, and I have lots of uh, meat left here, too. Plus, I uh, see when you cut it into strips, you can make tons. Now, I used almost all the onions because everybody likes onions here. Um, and this is my aioli sauce. He used harissa, and I used the hot sauce because I couldn't find my harissa. Oh, it is hot in here. I shut the air conditioner off. A couple hours ago, now I'm dying. Or, Hot. Um, and uh, whew, that fan's loud. Anyway, you wouldn't know that these were homemade either. Wow. Well, 
I guess you would because they're better. They're really good. I'm glad I made them. Um, it takes more time. So, as far as a quick meal, that's a no. Although, but, if you use the Starblot ones, or you're used to making them so the time doesn't bother, and it really doesn't take that long. You've seen me mix it up, set it aside, um, but you can only cook one at a time in the pan I was using. I guess if you use one of the big ones, um, it'll be better, but wow. Those are really good. I mean, it's great flavor. I got the meat that was already marinated. I don't even know what it was marinated with. And as I can tell on my tongue, there was a lot of pepper in there. So it did have pepper on it. But, you know, you go to the grocery store and they're all set up in the packages all marinated. I just happened to get that for 13 bucks um, on sale. I'm a, I'm a sales shopper. Um, so I grabbed it figuring, you know what, I'll make steak grinders. But then I thought of these and I said, hey, why not make these? I'm glad I did because these are amazing. <laughs> so, friends, there's another video down for you. I hope when I put it together it's not a mess because I feel like the whole thing was a mess. <laughs> but you get my drift. They're awesome. If nothing else, you can, this is still really soft. You can fold it. <laughs> you can actually put these in a bag and save them use them again so while you're making them why not make a double batch and have them for later and then when you do something like this you have them right anyway thanks for being here friends i look forward to seeing you again now i gotta clean this mess up that i made or after i eat dinner that is give them their dinner before it gets cold leave me a comment like and subscribe Thanks. I'll see you again. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, and have a happy Easter weekend to all of you. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, friends. A quick update. I asked the guys what they thought of those. Um, my husband really liked them. He really liked the shells. I did, too. The shells were really good. That um, aioli sauce that I made, it was really good. had nice flavor. If you like... Um, hot, spicy food, you would have loved them. And then I asked my son, and he said it was really good. And I said, really good? Just good? Good? Or He says, no, it was really good. He says, but if you had added, like, rice to it, it would have put it over the top. And I said, you know, I didn't even think about that. There's a place down here, Moe's um, Mexican restaurant. They put rice and beans and all that stuff. I said, that's a great idea, but I would have definitely had to make those shells twice the size because you've you seen how full they were, and I could almost not keep them together. <laughs> so even adding a tablespoon of rice would have just flopped them right. So next time, I won't buy the spiced, the marinated meat because it was marinated and had a lot of pepper in it which I don't mind. I'm not a huge pepper person myself. They love it. Um, so, but I like when I spice my own meat. So next time I'll just buy the steak outright and spice it myself and then use the aioli. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Aioli sauce because that was good. And it, I controlled how much spice was in it. I only put maybe a teaspoon and a half of the hot sauce um, where that with all that pepper and spiciness to the steak for me myself I'm not a big spicy person was a little much uh, they loved it and my son was right he says had you put rice in there that would have just finished the whole meal <laughs> so next time I think that's what I'll do um, I maybe put some beans in it for me. 
because I like beans in mine. So just an idea. So anyway, friends, thanks. Happy Easter weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Adios.